How's it going guys? Nick here again. Do another video on Endless Frontier on a couple of things. Well, first one is, first topic I want to cover is I was wrong about the human skill and the undead skill. Those are actually pretty good. Didn't realize late game how good they were. I was never able to unlock the auto quest for the second to last quest until I upgraded the human skill. I just had, I think, 7,000 something extra gems, so I just upgraded them both. I said, why not? It'll be beneficial. Won't hurt. But... Anyways, I wanted to open 15 pages of gifts, well, 14 and 1 pages of gifts while I was talking. Um, on the topic of, um, I guess, what heroes to you or not really heroes, but what artifacts do I use? The artifacts matter, but it all depends on your team also, but if your team highly depends on your artifacts, because if you have nothing but undead artifacts, you gotta use, you know, you can't rely on Griffin Rider to do most of the damage, or the druid or any of the other you know really good heroes but i think if you have anything for the undead the succubus is good um especially get a couple of them increases the range and all the undead units and all that good junk and she can hit pretty hard on top of that she can do something the griffin rider can't really do and that's aggro units which is not really a good thing but in the late stages it, i can see it helping out a lot for the fact that she can attract melee units i believe that's what her thing was and I've had it, I tried upgrading her and seeing what she can do, and she was able to halt the progress of the, you know, ground units. Otherwise, the problem with the Griffin Rider is he can go across and he can sit there and hit the boss, but all the ground units can go down, or, you know, they can move right on by him, which isn't really a problem, but, you know, sometimes it can hamper in the arena if you really care about your arena rank. But I've learned, uh, you know, Succubus isn't that bad. Compared to the Griffin Rider, if you have some major, you know, undead artifacts, it's not the end of the world. Plus, units are you new, sorry, new units are coming out soon, or I hope soon, maybe in a couple weeks. Well, that's not that soon, but eh, can't really complain. But anyways, I'm saving up my stuff as you can see. All these pages, whew, a lot of stuff to upgrade. Well, collect really. Still saving to upgrade till the new units come out and see what's good. See if I should drop everything on the new art on more artifacts or the new units. My money will probably be on the artifacts just because the units that I have and the units other people have. There's you know we all have the same. They're getting a whole lot further than me, but the artifacts they have really depended on it. So yeah. Um. Hang on a second, sorry. Oof, I starve out here. What'd I get? What'd I get? And I got another Aladdin. All right, that's going to make the game go by a lot quicker. That's pretty cool. Sweet. I'm actually happy about that one. Oh, sorry. Let's get back to the opening of the stuff. Four more pages. Yeah. Um, someone asked me in one of the other videos. I tried replying to them, but I'm not sure if they understood. They were wondering how I had so many medals with only a hundred and well, a little bit over a hundred revives. I don't remember which I'll see in a minute, but it's because you, I just, a bunch of my units are transcended on top of that, all, a bun, the, uh, I have a bunch of artifact slots unlocked, I kept all the ones that give metal boosts, and on top of the ones that give metal boosts, I, well, the, basically the set ones, the ones that you can get for free, no problem, well, you know, you don't have to get them out of the honor coin shop, but, all right, I'm sorry, this clicking's really taking a lot, <laughs> Alright, almost done. That's quite a bit of clicking, damn. Okay. Now let's take a look at my artifacts. Sorry for the long wait. Alright, I got I did get three sixth artifacts, one of them I'm really happy about. Then I was really bummed when I realized, you know, I'm not an elf core anymore. Well Drew it is, but my main unit is the Griffin Rider. Kinda wish it was a human one, but it still works. It's sixty thousand gold. Uh, 60,000 60, percent in the gold acquisition and then the supernova shoes I was kind of disappointed when I realized what the battle engagement time was a lot of people don't know what that does basically means it's how fast some units spawn so right now my human units spawn a lot quicker than you know my others and then this one here the lord this one I was really disappointed in but it actually does help out quite a bit in the dungeons just because of the massive increase in the tower I can wait for all the units to bunch up on the tower not kill it because they can't too much HP and then use two spells and kill it 
And then what are the what artifacts should I focus on or what artifacts should you focus on? Depend highly dependent on what units you have. If you know, for me I'm mostly elf and human, which druid and griffin rider. Um, you know, increase the critical strike rate of human and elf. I'm probably gonna upgrade that one past twenty just because it's good. Um, you know, everything uh, health of or attack power of health the elf and human, more gold. This one, human and elf, more. I just got lucky with those. Um just a bunch of my items I got lucky with, I guess. Most of them are from the free ones. I've only bought probably like seven or eight from the shop. I don't remember. Um, the Dark Knight Sword, the Bone Wyvern's Helmet. Uh, I think that's really it. But, you know, most of the ones I use are their sets, pretty much. And I'm hoping I get more. But I want to see if I can actually get past this guy. He's at 35.50. I think I can. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it this video or not, but... Hey, it's worth a try, right? Go ahead and get that. Ten times attack power will be nice. It'll just make the gri griffin hit a lot harder like that. Um, let's see. What else was there? I guess I could do some trials. Oh, I got trials to collect too. I forgot about that. Yeah. More, more, more. I got 28,000 gems. 29,000 gems. It's actually a good bit. Um. I... Don't know what much else to say. I just kind of rambled on. I don't want to remake the video because I just collected all my gifts. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's. I guess that's really about it. All right, guys, you have a good night.